Today on Divas Can Cook, we are frying up some crispy golden chicken wings. We're gonna toss them in this garlicky flavorful sauce because we are making my favorite garlic parmesan wings, y'all. They are going to rock your world. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so I have already washed and dried my wings, so I'm gonna add in so a little bit of olive oil, dump that into the bowl. We're gonna toss these wings up because we want them to be lightly coated in that olive oil. Next, I got some seasonings here. I'm gonna just sprinkle this onto my chicken and mix it all up and get it all distributed. We really don't need a lot of spices here because that sauce, y'all, that sauce is so bold. Yes, so good. Okay, now I have some flour here. I'm gonna add this to my little dish. I'm gonna sprinkle in some more seasonings. I'm keeping it simple here, okay? Very simple, garlic, seasoning, salt, parsley. Very simple. Okay, mix this all around. Now we can go ahead and just add our chicken in there. We're gonna coat this chicken very, very lightly with the flour. This was like just enough flour to coat these wings. I had like a pound of chicken. So if you wanna double this recipe, you wanna triple it, go ahead, be just fine. Okay, so once you have all of your wings coated in that flour, here is how it will look like this. Now we're gonna cover this up with some plastic wrap and we're going to refrigerate it for about 30 minutes. You just want that flour to kind of adhere to the skin of that chicken. Okay, so after 30 minutes, here is what it looks like, okay? It's perfect, it's ready to be fried. Look at that, yep, that's how it's gonna look after 30 minutes. But you can also do longer if you want to, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna work on our sauce. Won't take long, so I'm gonna dump some butter into my pot here. I'm using um, unsalted butter, like always. Okay, we're gonna stir this up until that butter has melted. And then here comes the king daddy ingredient, that fresh garlic, a whole lot. A whole lot of fresh garlic. We're gonna let this garlic kind of saute a little bit until it becomes all fragrant, starts smelling all good. Then we're gonna add in some more spices here, parsley, garlic powder, um, black pepper, sea salt. Go ahead and stir that in there, all right? And now we're gonna add in just a little bit of Parmesan cheese, fresh grated Parmesan cheese. All these fresh ingredients is gonna create such an amazing tasting sauce. And you can also use fresh parsley if you want to. I just prefer using the dried parsley because I feel like it kind of clings to the chicken a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this simmer away and now I'm just gonna put it on low heat because it's time to fry our chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil to my skillet. When that oil is nice and hot, go ahead and just throw that chicken right on in there. You may have to do this in batches if you are doubling the recipe, but I was able to get all my chicken in this pot. So go ahead and place your chicken in a pot, let it fry on up. This won't take too long at all once it's nice and golden. You can flip it over if you need to, but this chicken is kinda, you know, kinda self-turned itself, so I didn't have to do much flipping. Once it gets nice and golden, go ahead and place it on a plate, lined with paper towels. Okay, so now is my favorite part. I love, love, love this part, and that is dunking the chicken in that garlic parmesan sauce, yes. And I don't know why I like doing this part. It's just something fun about getting the chicken all soaked up in all this butter and garlic and all that yumminess. I like it. Okay, so once you have all that chicken drenched in this butter sauce, you're gonna have a lot of stuff left over in the pan. We're gonna come back to that in just a minute. But while this chicken is nice and hot, I wanna add my Parmesan cheese on there so it starts to kind of melt. I'm gonna add on some black pepper and I'm going to add on fresh parsley for garnish to make it look all pretty and stuff. Okay, so once I do that, I like to come back in with the final coat of this garlic. Do not skip this step because this is where all the flavor is. So just make sure you get all of those garlic bits all over this chicken, hit it with some more Parmesan cheese, more black pepper, more parsley, and then you are good to go. It's not gonna be too buttery, too oily. Don't worry about that. It's gonna dry up nicely. It's gonna be nice and crunchy and so full of flavor. Look at that, see, it's all just, it's all just one, living happily together in the inside. So juicy. Of course it's got butter, it's gotta be juicy, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos later.